Hi. So I'm here to answer questions that you've brought up with me. And this one is about vocal consistency. And I'd actually like to read the question because I think it's such a great question. So how can I become more consistent in getting my voice where it needs to be each day? Although I may do the same sequence or warm up each day, my voice will always meet the space feeling different. I only get that really nice supported resonant tone I want to achieve maybe once a week. So first of all, can I just say, I love this question. I love this question because it goes to show that you have set some vocal goals for yourself and you are in a process that's aiming to help you achieve those vocal goals. And you're noticing, okay, that process isn't exactly working for me for some reason. And you're in dialogue with why might that be? That is so fantastic already. So many people don't have a process for themselves, much less are in dialogue with themselves about how do I make this process better? So first of all, well done. And what this question really seems to boil down to in its essence is how can you translate that powerful spoken voice that you find in a warm up into an everyday consistent speaking voice. And because this question is asked really in two different parts, I want to take two videos to answer it. So in this video today, I'm going to talk about effective vocal warm ups. And in the next video next week, I'm going to talk about how we can translate that voice we find in our effective vocal warm-ups into our everyday consistent speaking voice. So let's start with effective vocal warm-ups. So something that struck me about your question is when you say, although I may do the same sequence and warm up each day, my voice will always meet the space differently. So my first curiosity is, how can you adjust your warm up on a day to day basis so that it is addressing what you actually need and where you actually are in that given day and what the task is that you're going to be doing and speaking in and what the space is that you're going to be speaking in. So while it is true that there are certain central tenets to a, a vocal warm up that make it effective, let's say if we were going to say um, the central tenets are mental presence work, physical release work, breath release work, breath support work and vocal support work, resonance range and articulation. Let's say if an effective warm up has some mix up of all of those things you still have a lot of freedom within the form to play with your warm up depending on what time of day are you doing it? How are you feeling that day? Even emotionally, how are you feeling? If you're quite emotional, you might have some more tension in the body that may need to be addressed so that you can breathe more deeply. Uh, what kind of space are you gonna be working in? Are you going to be in large spaces, small spaces, both? Uh, so all of these questions can help you address, you know, is it morning? Is it evening? Are you feeling quite warm already and just need a little bit of a top up? All of these questions can help you play with what's the warm up that's going to be the most effective for me today, right? So for example, if it's first thing in the morning, if you haven't moved in a while, you might need to do some more physical release work, right? Uh, or if you're going to be working on a uh, camera all day, or, you know, right now we're doing a lot of zoom sessions, you might need to play around with what's the most effective tool for me in order to be my most clear and resonant on camera. Maybe it's resonance work. Maybe it's articulation. Maybe it's even, um, some mental presence work, right? Or if I'm going to fill a larger space, you know, there's no one answer to what's going to work best for you. But if you're working within those tenets, you can start to play with maybe in a larger space, I need to do some more mental presence work so that I'm communicating with more intention. Maybe I really need to play with resonance or range. So I would say that's the first step. And really what is so effective about treating your warm ups like that is that your warm up becomes a living, breathing process that's really in response to you and what you need. And let that be true even in the middle of the warm up. If you're doing something and you're like, this isn't working and I'm not feeling it right now, 
change it, do something else. So um, this is so important because if warm ups start to become just the same thing, no matter what you're doing or how you're feeling, the body gets bored, the mind gets bored, the, you know, and all of those things have a direct impact on the voice. So we want to keep ourselves as engaged as possible. So that's really my first step. And if I say that and you're like, God, I don't know how to do that, right? Or I didn't even know that like voice warm ups were a thing that we did for the spoken voice. Don't worry, I have got your back. I have a podcast called Bespoke Speaks where you can find all sorts of warm ups. And you'll notice if you listen to that podcast, which you can also find on bespoke communication.com, you'll notice that I have a lot of warm ups that not just vary in length, but vary in theme. So, most recently, I did a voice warm up for Zoom. I've done voice warm ups for larger spaces. I've done voice warm ups for camera. I've even done things like voice warm ups for concentration or for anxiety. So, go on there, find yourself some themes that feel interested in you interesting to you, I should say, and get some ideas. All right. So that's the first part. Next week, I will come back and I'll talk about how do we translate that voice from our warm up into the voice we're using all the time. So stay tuned. And in the meantime, let me know what are your favorite warm up exercises? What do you like to do to get you warmed up on a regular basis? Share them, share them down below in the comments. Then we can start a dialogue going and we can also give each other some ideas. Can't wait to hear from you. Bye bye.